Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be trying out a weird eyebrow tinting technique and I actually saw Layla Rose do this on her YouTube channel so I'll link her video in the info box and it looked really interesting and I've never ever tinted my eyebrows. So basically what I have to do is carve around my eyebrows with white paint and then I'm going to use the eyebrow tinting kit to tint my eyebrows and hopefully that will give me eyebrows. Um, not give me eyebrows but it would be nice to have fuller looking eyebrows so like for days where I just can't be bothered to do my makeup it would be really nice for them to be already like kind of done and I would just need to touch them a bit because today I've partially done my eyebrows and this took me around 15 minutes I would say or 10 minutes because it's kind of harder to do my eyebrows they're kind of dodgy and I'm losing like hairs in some areas and it looks really sparse so hopefully this will give me more of a shape when I tint them so I'm really really excited to do this but yeah a bit nervous I hope I don't screw up <laughs> the eyebrow kit that I got is by Isla I obviously got the shade black because I have black hair even though my eyebrow hairs are kind of like a dark brown to a black not completely jet black I would say um, so I'll probably have to be a bit careful with this because I don't want to, them to be jet black even when I fill in my brows, I always use a black brown rather than a black. So, yeah. So this was around like eight pounds and, and you get up to 12 applications. And it says it's a permanent tint for brows and it gives a dark glossy color for up to six weeks. So I'm actually really excited to try this out. So like I said, I've already got my brows done so I'm just gonna wipe that all off. I haven't got any makeup on either guys. I'm so excited to do this video. Oh my god. I want to see what it will look like. So that's one eyebrow taken out. Let me do this one. So that's what my eyebrows look like without anything on them. And by the way, uh, when I watched Layla's video, she, when she put the white paint around the eyebrows, she kind of plucked some stray hairs. So hopefully I'll do I'll see some stray hairs and I'll pl pluck those out as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start doing the white paint now. The paint that I'm going to be using is the Meron Clown White Face Paint. I'm just going to use this Morphe brush. You can use any flat brush to carve your eyebrows. I don't know where to start. So that's the under bit done. I do kind of take a lot from the top bit, so I'm just gonna. So this one has a higher arc, so I'm going to kind of take a bit more paint off here. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with the shape. Um, really take your time with this. I'm actually kind of scared that it will look really boxed in the bit, in the middle bit, because it might stay in my skin, so I'm actually kind of nervous. But I'll probably leave it less time like um, Layla, Layla did in her video. Like she kind of took this bit off first. So I'm going to do the same because I'm so scared that it will like look really boxy. So the kit comes with a little develop activator bottle and it comes with the cream colour. So that's step one and step two. So it does say at the back of the bottle to mix two centimetres of the cream colour with five drops of this. So to me that's one centimeter I would say and that's two centimeters so I've gotten this consistency so far so on the box dye it does say to leave it up for one to two minutes so I'm probably gonna leave it for like between one to two minutes I don't know I'll see um probably around one minute and I don't know 30 seconds I'm gonna wipe the inner bit definitely because I'm not gonna keep it as long in the inner bit so yeah Ooh, I'm so scared oh my god okay so I'm gonna use this little thing that it comes with 
And I'm actually going to start from the outer bit because I want that bit to be darker. I'm going to use a brush. This is worrying. I look like I've got a tattooed brow. I've already started a timer for this one. I have no patience with this. Oh my god, I've already gone over the line. So I'm just going to wipe this bit first off. Oh my lord, I'm so scared. I'm going to leave this one for like another minute. I'm actually just cleaning it under here because I'm too scared. It's been two minutes, so I'm going to take this one off. So those are my eyebrows afterwards. I, to be honest, I don't even really think that they are a bit darker. I don't know. I'm going to be able to see with, with the before and after, which I'm going to show you guys now. Um, but right now, I to be honest, I don't see much of a difference. I feel like because it has stained my skin a bit, you can see a bit more like structure to my brow. I do feel like here in the inner bit, there's more. It looks like it's fuller than everywhere else. And plus, to be honest, I was so stressed out about leaving the product on too long that I didn't have time to like tweeze out extra like any stray hairs. I'm gonna use the spoolie that comes with the kit and brush my hair upwards. And I'm gonna use these little tiny scissors of mine and I'm gonna cut the top bit off. Just to trim them a bit. Just a little bit of a close-up of what they look like now. I feel like definitely this one has got a bit more structure. So I've just plucked away a few stray hairs and my final thoughts on this is I really like it because I'm actually starting to see like they look more well groomed now because they're a bit darker and they look cleaner and more defined so I'm really happy about that but the only thing is I don't see the point of the white paint because I feel like because of the, I just was going over the white paint anyways because I was so nervous about time so I'll probably next time when I do this I'll probably skip the white paint and just do it without it and just go straight on your brow and then while I'm waiting um, I would I would pluck away any straight hairs or do whatever else I need to do and I would actually do it only with a brush and not with that um, applicator thing that comes with the kit I'll just do it straight with the brush and um, yeah I think that's that's it really I do have to say though my eyebrow hairs feel dry now they feel like they've just been dyed which they obviously have been but they feel like a bit dry so anyways it was a fun experience anyways and I'm actually kind of happy like when I look at them they look darker they actually do and I've got this really annoying sparse bit here but when I do it again I might put more here because I feel like it stains my skin and that's what gives structure to my brow I don't know but yeah other than the white paint I really actually like this it's I'm gonna probably do it more in the future so and I'm actually gonna go do it on my sister now because she wants to try it out but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and if you're new, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you next time.